He had a big time by Golden, and that's really the first loose ball they've come up with this half, and that was couldn't have come at a better time. Now they just need to be solid defensively, and Middle Tennessee needs to have a great possession. 2.30 left from down 15 in the second half to only down five. This is three, and that's good. What a response from Elias King. Yeah, he has been so good tonight. No hesitation on that shot. 12 points, he's knocked down both of his threes. Almost got it away from Davis. Davis looks tired. A lot of Eight to shoot. Gaffney not the shooter they want. Now down to three. Fouled on his way to the basket. And counted. Yeah. It's really smart play by Gaffney. He could have forced a three. Instead, he tried to get downhill and might get, get an old-school three-point play out of it. Slow to get up. Average between four and six points in three years at UConn. And that is a big bucket here, much more of a distributor and a defender than a key scorer for the Owls. Yeah, and he just, that was, you know, Coach May talked about how smart he is. That was a smart play and a good seal there by Golden uh, against his man and gave him a lane to the rim. 83% free throw shooter conference play, misses that one. Blue Raiders by six, facing a press now. Inside of two minutes. That's a six point lead on the 24 and two. FAU Owls. All the way in. Buford had the open three. Like the pull up a little better. That was a good call. Yeah, they're, they're playing so calm, so relaxed on the offensive end. Two great possessions in a row. Ford Atlantic, by the way, they did one out of seven free throws. Martin, easy two. They've had the lead down to five. Trail now by six. Middle Tennessee State show good patience. They've knocked down a couple of mid-range jumpers here to keep it arm's length. You're going to have to foul, I believe. Inside a minute. Now they're not going to foul. Almost coming up with the steal. Now the foul called against Golden away from the basket. That's a smart foul by Golden. It's part of the scouting report. Dishman catches it late in the game. you got to try to foul him. He's not... Not a very good foul shooter, and 56% uh, for the year, so smart play by Golden. And that was the last foul that will equal a true one and one. The next one gives them an automatic two. Florida Atlantic did start February with a loss at UAB. They have three consecutive wins. Missed the front end there. Down by six, they got a hustle. Forrest to the basket, two more. Deficit's now four. Now the clock stops, don't need to call a timeout. Next foul sends them to the line for two. Quick foul there. So they just had Dishman on the line. He shoots 56% from the line. And Buford now not much better at 58%. Yeah. Well, that's a sign of a team that's really well coached. They know when, who to foul and when to foul and when not to foul, except for the one in the backcourt. And uh, Buford just knocked down a big jump shot, so we'll see. It gives them confidence at the line. Puts that lead back up to five. With four fouls, they bring the big fella back in, Jared Coleman-Jones at 6'10". It's smart. It's a smart substitution. One, free throw shooting, and two, he's he can defensive rebound and he can put a body on Golden down there. Makes a lot of difference when you can shoot two at the line instead of one and one. Takes a lot of pressure off these kids. Buford is the fourth Blue Raider now in the double figures with ten points. Gaffney Davis wasn't looking. Got a hustle now, trailing by six. Deep three, got it. Wow. Trap and see if they can get a steal first. They tried to get that trap. They beat it. Almost a steal there by Gaffney. And they'll send Buford back to the line who was just there. 
and came through. Yeah, it was close. I, th I think that's what you have to do. And Buford, yeah, Buford did a great job coming back to the ball. Not a, not a great pass there. Two-hand chest pass for 30 feet, but give Buford credit coming and meeting that thing. You said something that made every quarterback happy there, coming back to the ball. Yeah. Good, strong take there to earn that foul. And knocks down the first. Huge to make that a four-point lead now. Yeah, these, these Middle Tennessee State players are so calm. I mean, they've made big shot after big shot and big free throws there and um, stepping up and making plays when they have to. So if you're coming back the other way, are you looking, do you have to get a three or can you go two? You can go quick too. But I'm sure they'll have a thing they can play inside out also. Little pressure there on Forrest, bringing it up. Switching one through five ball screens. Davis, three, short. And the rebound to Lawrence. Huge get there on the defensive glass. 14 seconds left, headed to the line, and leading the 24 and two owls by five. Yeah, really good defense by Coleman Jones there. They switch one through five, and he was able to keep the guards in front of him, and Davis just hadn't been able to get it going with the three. Rebounds have been so big for the Blue Raiders tonight. First one is good. 40 rebounds for the Knights and 30 for FAU. This is the team in the Owls leading Conference USA in defensive rebounds. Yeah, it's it's been a big part. They've just been quicker and faster to the ball all night. Miss there. Six-point lead. Inside of 10 seconds now. Forrest for three. Long. Martin back to Gaffney. That's for three. It's good. Smart play by Martin. Everybody lined up there on the baseline. They can go wherever they want with it. They get it inside. Immediately the foul called against Eli Lawrence. Their leading score down to 2.4 seconds left. Yeah, Coach McDevitt's had a really good game tonight. He had his team ready, and that was a nice call. And Lawrence is so fast and so quick. Usually the spacing's not great on that, but he was so fast and so quick, he was able to get open. 82% from the line, and this is two. Key here is making one of these here, Mark. Okay. That puts a little more pressure on the second one. He's a big-time player. I expect him to make this. They got to get ready to guard these guards if he does miss it and play the shot. Huge free throw here. Knocks it down. Makes all the difference. 2.4 seconds left and down four. Forrest pulls up. Won't matter. Middle Tennessee State at home knocks off the 25th ranked FAU Owls. 74 to